Welcome back guys. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Today, we're talking about regulation of children's home, which takes us to our third question. Do you think some homes have actually been turned into money-making ventures? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Actually, I do. Because I remember there's this time, Chepe Leka Nganguo, kwa children's home. Zilikuwa za, za familia tu mzima, tukachukua za nizime kuwa ndogo, za tuvangi, uh, tuvangi sana. Kumbi hizo nguwa zikuwa nda uko zilinda kuuzwa, tulipata ziki uzwa kule kulikuwa na stola po kando. So kupitia hapo the following day kupeleka manguwa zingine, tukapata zina uzwa. So, yeah. Kuna sam, siyezi sema zote, but kuna sam. Let's just call a spade a spade to see it a big spoon. Kuna wale wenye wanatumia children's homes kuji benefit hao wenyewe and they are not helping the, the kids ama the children wenye wako kondani. Yeah. And that's not, a, that's not a good idea and it's also si poa kupata mali zenye. You're, you're not getting them in, a, in the right path. Yeah, they are, there which, they are there to make money, some of them. They want to enrich themselves. You ask for donors, you get millions of shillings, just feed the children a very little amount, the others you pocket on your, on your pocket, which is very bad to use your human being like you to get money. Yeah, because in every good there's bad. So, yeah, I support that. It's true that some people take, and that's very wrong because being in a children's home, you should like help the children. It should be just genuine, but of course not everyone is genuine. Yes. That is possible. That is possible. I can say uh, some of these people or some of these NGOs, I, I don't know, uh, NGO, uh, they may start this uh, as a business, with a business idea. Uh -huh. Maybe they want a head from, uh, from uh, outside the country, overseas or whatever, uh, abroad. You see that? So some of them are business ideas. Yes, that's true. Well, an explanation. How should I say it? Everything is monetized, so even orphanages also are monetized. So yeah, that's true. Yes, kuna wale, kuna wale watu ingi wana, wana tumianga yu opportunity to, as a business to make money bila, bila kujali bila kujali yao maofans venye wataka sana sana ndo sometimes inaleta shida. Yani ofan, au maofans sana sana wezi pata all their, all their needs venye wana kwa kupata. Because sometimes wengi pia ni wafisadi wanatumia wana opportunity to make money. Sasa orphans, orphans ndo wanabaki wanaumia. I think some are used for money laundering purposes and making some people rich. In the name of children, children I mean. Uh, so they, they need to be regulated by the government. Yeah, pretty much. Almost everything is a business in this country. So one way or the other. Someone can find a way out to get money through, even orphanages at this point. Hey, yeah, hey. there's another instance here in Kenya. Kulikuwa msia na itisha watu pesa maju, anasema na saidia watu hoi. Akumbi anayena jenga mansion yake huko, ananua mashamba nini. Kiangalia watu hoi ni mbao na anasema wakona watu hoi, tuseme more than mia, which is very unfair. Ju, hiyo doa kama msia mepeana, isaidia watu hoi, isaidia watu hoi. Hapo nipo ugawa ina faingiliye. Wanafanya audit nini, kuna kuwa bado na documentation ya e umtoi, lini ya liingia, nini, the progress na ifuatilia. It's very unfair manzi, hata unasurvive aji. Yeah, personally I think they have been turned to money making ventures because unapata someone might open a children's home for their own personal intentions or for evil intentions. I think it depends on who opened the children's home because... Uh, in my opinion, if you open a children's home, uh, you should not be opening it to to exploit. Uh, let's say, say me unachukua loan, unadanganyo kona watoto, then unaitumia for your own uh, intentions. I think the money for the children's home should be specifically for the children, just to help the children so that they may be able to better their lives yeah, and become uh, beneficial people in the country in the future. 
I do feel like some people actually do take advantage and uh, try to get uh, help from outside countries, you know, by getting sponsors. But then most of this money actually goes into their private accounts. I feel like the government should intervene and ensure that these funds are allocated properly. On to our fourth question. What do you think the government can actually do to ensure that children are not exploited? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay, we took a plantation, pl plantation even though one of our Kongaleo sides. Because we have a lot of creative tea farms from the Kongaleo stories before. We have a lot of toy in the Kongaleo tea farms, of which we have a chemicals for toy. We took a large scale production of coffee. We have a lot of Kongaleo children's home, Sisana. We have a lot of Sidika, of which we have a support of the private ones. These are children's home, we have a license. And then wakitaka before mtu afungue children some yake ama hizo zake wanafaa wa, um, at least they go confirm with the government kama wako na hiyo ni nini kama wako na the possibility and the reason why they want to start a children's home na watakuwa wanaangalia specific watoto wa gani kwa hizo children's homes zao let all them be registered and monitored by government. You have a department where they'll be monitored. The movement of the children, movement of the those private children, so they'll let be monitored by the government. Very strict on them to see how the children move or they are registered in that institution. That one will help, the, will help the government. I think basically regulate those children homes. Yeah, make sure there's an overseer who is very committed to their work. I think uh, I'm not so sure about it, but uh, I think maybe if maybe these children who are being taken to children's home, uh, they should maybe do a thorough research, uh, maybe find their background, and so, and uh, with that may reduce uh, the children trafficking. So maybe you know who is taking uh, uh, children so and so. Maybe improve security and other employees yeah maybe going deeper when employing other people and going also to investigate the organizations it could be a good maybe it won't be like fully helpful but it might to some extent wana for you was was ingati hii mambo na venye wata watapigana na hizi ufisadi sana sana kwa hizo private peer public sana sana sio 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 wafanyika sio sio au mama wakubwa wa wote wenye wanasimamia hizo orphanages ni, 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 ni watu wanazaaminika kuna wale wanatumia hizo opportunity kumek pesa orphan and endelea kumia ni at least waingilie ndo at least au ma orphans waendelee wapate all their all their needs wenye wana require think governor inafa ku register inafa ku register hizo children children homes and or due the location and what is going inside there i guess set up more public publicly what was it supervised dog orphanages cuz well private are also good cuz maybe they actually offer more services cuz maybe they have more funds from different sponsors but they are they should set up more public and probably make the services better or at least manage the private ones where they can uh, ni to make sure kila mtu mwenye anaingia kwa children's home ako ye children's home ina document na ina document kwa child officer tuseme kwa hiyo county ama kwa hiyo area as in that the child officer wa hiyo area chief child officer nini county government na jua the, na the names the age the number of uh, watu hii wenye wako kwa kila orphanage na wanafuatilia their progress in case mtu mmoja ana miss they know wana uliza alienda wapi na wanafuatilia that's the only way lakini wakiacha hivi tendele hivyo people will make business out of it maybe they could be doing inspections or regular visits to the children's home for to investigate what happens and uh, they take note of the private children's homes without regu regulating them so that wana, they know what is happening here here and there i, I think that the government should open more children's homes and uh, where possible 
they should enable that as in these children easy homes are our to always nsema je kupata education or saidia in every way possible hadi kani private or saidia na pia kawa naweza fungua zao to public always kufungua or saidia watoto juu eh these children can be of help na at the potential ya mtoto unless tukue like to tumsaidia in a way always the potential ya mtoto hadi ukue karibu na yeye na mimi naona hizi children's homes ndo in my opinion, I feel like the government should definitely regulate this children's home to avoid exploitation. And the second point is that auditing should be done to ensure that there is proper allocation of resources and future planning. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.